Hey there, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to get email alerts um, and notifications on your computer from the Harmonic Scanner, from the iMarkets Live Harmonic Scanner. Now, I've been asked numerous times to share this in a video, so I wanted to offer this training to you today. So, um, if you have been following me, um, I have been sharing videos on basically using the harmonic scanner in this quick fire strategy where we are looking at the 15 minute chart on the harmonic scanner and we're getting into a trade and we're getting out of a trade um, quickly hence the name quick fire strategy that's the idea um, and the idea of this strategy is to set a goal for um, your daily amount of pips that you want to achieve and and i would suggest you do that on a demo account first um, and then um, demo that for one, two, three, four weeks, whatever it takes for you to feel comfortable, and then start live trading um, using this strategy. And again, set a daily goal for pips. My daily goal was 10 pips per day. Um, I'm actually on my fifth week of trading and I'm doing this live in a, with a live account. Um, and I've learned some things and you can come and check out some of these videos on my YouTube channel to see. But anyway, What's come out of this, uh, these videos or this case study is the request to, um, to share with you guys how to get email alerts or, or notifications on your PC so that you're not always having to check um, the harmonic scanner. On, on, you know, there's a web-based web harmonic scanner or then there's also one that you can attach to, your, uh, to a broker. Um, and that will notify you. So this is what this, that's what this video is about today. How to get email alerts or um, pop-up notifications on your PC for, or Mac for that matter, um, for the harmonic scanner. So what you need to do is, first of all, we're going to log in to um, iMarkets Live. I'm going to show you where you go to download um, the version that you need for um, your PC or your Mac, depending on what um, whatever you're using. So if we come over here to Harmonic Scanner, and I'm gonna go kind of fast, um, but keep in mind this is recorded. You can always stop um, the recording and um, uh, come back to it if you're not if I'm going too fast for you. So up here, once you get to the Harmonic Scanner page, there's different versions. So there's the Web Scanner. Um, that's what I use sometimes if I'm just if I just want to scan and look at some things. These two, um, the MT4 scanner for Windows or the MT4 scanner for Mac, um, you can use those. However, if you are interested in using this quick fire strategy that I've been teaching, you're going to have to get the binary binary scanner. So um, if you're interested in that 15 minute strategy, come here. If you have a PC, come here and download the binary scanner for Windows here. Or if you have a Mac, download the binary scanner for Mac. So just click on that. And what that will do is bring up this. Um, and again, you can go through this stuff. Um, but you want to um, download the um, the uh, file for the, the for the harmonic binary scanner. So just click on here and it will download the file to your computer. And then what we're going to do is... Um, in this training on iMarkets Live site, they talk about using Trader's Way um, live account for um, setting up the harmonic scanner. Since that this has been recorded, um, since this training has been recorded in the back office, there's been a recent change to JAFX, the JAFX broker. Um, so depending on what you want to do, you need to use one of these. And I don't know whether they're going to discontinue the Trader's Way um, set up or not, but I am using JAFX. Now I will tell you, I did use Trader's Way first, um, because that's all you could use when you, if you wanted to hook this up to get email alerts and notifications. So I did set up a live account on Trader's Way. I did not put any money in there. You can go to tradersway.com and you can actually set up a live account and you don't have to, you don't have to use that for your broker account, but you can use it just to get the the alerts um, and, and use the harmonic scanner on that um, on that site if you would like to. But anyway, I'm gonna what I'm gonna show you is using JAFX. So here is my JAFX account, and I'm gonna show you what to do. So we've downloaded that file, 
um, that you saw on the iMarkets Live page. All you, this is, you guys, this is so simple. So what you want to do is come up here to file, click on open data folder, and I'm just going to show you something quick um, where I'm going to, I'm going to show you where you have to put that file that we just downloaded. MQL4, and you come over here to experts, and this is where you're going to copy and paste that file. So we'll come to downloads. Um, my computer is like thinking about it. We'll come over to downloads because that's where I put that, um, that the harmonic scanner binary file. You can see it right here. I am going to copy that. And then I'm going to go back over here to where I just showed you. So we come over to file. This is in your JAFX broker um, on the um, MetaTrader 4. Um, JAFX that's on your computer. Come over here and you're going to say open data folder. We're going to go to MQL4. We're going to go to experts and this is where we want to put that file. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to say paste. Now the file, the scanner client binary options, that's what the BO stands for, is now in this directory. Okay, close it up. Come back over here to expert advisors. This is where we put the binary, um, the harmonic scanner binary option um, executable. So what we do is we click on expert advisors and you right click and you click refresh. Now you see there is the scanner. Okay. So far so good, right? I'm hoping you're with me. Now what you need to do is double click on that and it, it brings up the scanner um, inputs. So there's an about tab and it may bring you to the about tab first. Don't worry about it. Come over here to inputs. Here is where you put in your um, username and password. And then the other thing you have to do is what I've noticed is I was getting notifications for the one minute time frame and the five minute and I don't want to get those. So I turn these to false because it's just too many notifications, but you do want to make sure you get the M15 time frame. Okay. Then the other thing you need to do to get the emails and the alert pop-ups, come down here, put true and true. You guys with me? I hope everybody's with me so far and we're going to say, okay. Okay, now what's going to happen is when there's a new scan, a new um, pattern, it's going to give that to us. See in here, it's, it's, it's loading from the ones that it had from before. Um, okay, that will load. Okay, then now that you're not quite done, but you're very, very close to get the emails. You will get the pop-up notifications with what I just showed you how to do. But to get the emails, you come over to Tools, click on Options, come all the way over here to Email. And then here, I had already had this set up so you can kind of see. What you need to do is put in this type of information, SMTP Server. So if you're using Gmail, you put in the SMTP Server. Now, if you don't know what that is, Guess what you can do? You know, Google is like my best friend ever, right? I can't even, it's, it's such a good friend, I can't even type it. <laughs> so you can type in, what is the SMTP server for Gmail? Let's say you have Gmail. Um, um, maybe you have a Gmail account that you want to set this up for. So you just come and you, you put in, sorry, I went too fast. Um, what is the SMTP for? Um, server for Gmail. It says set the under I'm going to set the SMTP server to smtpgmail.com. So that's what you would put in here if you're using a Gmail address instead. I'm using a Yahoo. Put it in here. Okay. What's your login? Well, what is your login to your email? Your Gmail account. What's your Gmail account password? And then what email will be sending it from and what email do you want it to go to? That's it. Say, okay, you will now get email alerts. Andy Potosky here. I hope that was helpful. I went fast. I know, um, but you guys can do this. 
If you have questions, post them in below uh, in the comments below. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I will be doing more training. If you are not part of iMarkets Live um, and you are interested in learning how to trade Forex, you want to um, you know maybe get connected with some of these great products or with me, go to tradewithandy.com. I'll be glad to help you. Andy Petoskey here. Have an amazing day. I'll see you on the next video.